have you ever wanted to stand out, but instead you started to act differently or take a different route instead of being outstanding? Well, Kanye West, I think it's Kanye West, if you want to stand out, don't be different, be outstanding. And I completely agree with this quote, and I have three reasons, three scenarios why I do. The first scenario is when I was in first grade, I was a smart kid. I wasn't dumb or anything, but I used to act bad. Like, I used to be like, you know what, in order to get attention, I'm going to act bad. But then I noticed that all the smart kids that were like on honor roll and stuff, they started getting like recognized differently versus me like being bad, like staying out, hiding out recess. And like when the teacher was like, okay, recess is over, I'll be like hiding in the jungle gym. Like, no, I'm not coming in. I'm going to be different. Well, after that, and after a few talks with my mom, I decided to act better and to be outstanding instead of being different. I started doing my math like better because I knew how to do my work, I just never did it. And so I started writing better. I started, I asked the teacher if I could sit next to her so I wouldn't be distracted by my friends. And surely, surely, no, slowly but surely, my grades started going back up. I started getting all A's. I was on the honor roll. My family came, they gave me flowers, they took me to IHOP because I had a favorite place to go. Got some pancakes, I was winning. And um, I was happy about that. And speaking of my favorite place to go, Juice It Up, they recognized me for being an outstanding customer all the time because I'm different but also outstanding. I have the whole, see my Juice It Up cut back there? I just went to Juice It Up and I get the sea breeze squeeze with honey and granola and pineapple sorbet and raspberry sorbet. And that's an outstanding drink. I didn't want to be different and get like a little nasty drink because most of my friends are like, I'm going to be different today and I'm going to go get a different drink. But then I'm like, no, I'm going to be outstanding with my drink that I know is wonderful and great. So yeah, see me squeeze. That's what I get. And juice it up people. They're always like, yeah, this is the best. And this is so good. We had our whole staff try. We might try to make this part of the secret menu. And I'm like, ah, oh, you guys are not to pay me for being so outstanding because I came out with that. But um, another one that isn't so happy and wonderful about IHOP and Jusida and being an honor roll is that my brother had a stepbrother when I was like a little baby. And he wanted to be like his stepbrother who was like bad, like getting into gangs and stuff. And just like bad. Like you would think of like some like heathen kid that was my brother's stepbrother. I guess that's my stepbrother too, but yeah. So, um, he, my brother, decided to take, be like me when I was in first grade and be better and start doing his work. And he started playing football to channel his energy and his free time somewhere else. And he did. And then he got accepted into UCLA. Although I know a lot of us aren't fans of UCLA. <laughs> but I mean, still a pretty good school to get into instead of just going, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that this school is bad, but you know, like, get from being like all us and like everybody's telling you you're not going to be anything and you're going to be like your stepbrother and all. It's kind of, it's not kind of, but it's really outstanding that he went from like F's and D's to like A's, played football, worked his way up, he got a scholarship, and now he's practicing to be a, what, a doctor, but like, no, oh, a chemist, yeah, so a chemist, and he's, um, he went to school, he's going to school in Vegas now for some trip, and I just think that this quote is completely right, that instead of being different, because being different does not always necessarily mean you're being better, you're bettering yourself, it could just mean that you're being different in like not such a good way. So it's better to be outstanding than to be different because you get outstanding results.
All right, the rhetorical question at the beginning is okay. Your point of view is fine. It sounds like you have a, a, a structure, but I really, you know, when I'm thinking about it, I couldn't detect any uh, preview. Uh, so even though it, it felt like you really had a plan, I'm not sure that you did express it to us. So that's a little bit odd. I'm not sure why it came across that way. In the body of the speech, though, you have distinct examples that you're talking about. So that's good. And I thought you had... <coughs> Pretty good detail. Sometimes they feel a little repetitive, uh, but uh, it gives you something to talk about and you seem engaged when you're talking to us. And I think that that's uh, the strength of the uh, presentation is the presentation stuff itself. You have <coughs> a solid voice projection, good variety in what you're doing. The pacing seems consistent. Uh, there are some engaged gestures. You're very expressive with your facial uh, expressions and you generally are looking at the audience. Uh, the body movement, I think, is a little bit limited. You, it's, you kind of are swiveling on your hips and uh, you could probably, like I said, step forward a little bit, engage us uh, occasionally. That's a minor quibble. There weren't any obvious anxiety issues. Um, as a lot of people have been doing, I think, uh, that, which is a good thing, uh, you do come back to the quote and remind us the point that you're trying to make at the end of the speech, and so that, that's a solid thing also. So I thought the presentation part was, was really solid. Content was good, and uh, I thought that you had a point that you were trying to make at the end. It's not Kanye, but that's okay. It doesn't matter who it was. All right. Can somebody get Heidi? Thank you. She's our last speaker for the day.